A typical school day involves getting there early, checking emails, getting resources in place for the lessons, uh, teaching quite a number of lessons, uh, supervising students perhaps at break time. At lunch time you probably have 15 minutes just to grab a bite to eat because of other things that happen. After school, I have meetings three days a week and I run an after school club, all of which finish at half past five. And then the marking and planning and assessment continues until about 10 p.m. each night. I work on average 70 hours a week and only 40 hours of that are actually with the children. I use the OTL's work-life tracker, it's brilliant. Through it I discovered that I was doing things of my own choosing and the things that were just not necessary. But I was spending lots of time doing things like lesson planned and schemes of work that were already fine and through it missed out on time for marking, uh, which then caused a problem. It allowed me to self-reflect and improve my own time management skills, which in turn has, has led to a better work-life balance. I'd certainly recommend it to colleagues, try it. I think it's really important that we start discussions with our line managers and talk about how we can reduce our workload. We have combined two classes together, so we have a much bigger class of 40 students, but they have two teachers uh, working with them. We were able to get PPA time for all the teachers within our school. The one change I made that was great after my NQT year was more marking in the lessons. Marking should not be this deep marking that takes five, ten minutes for every piece of work. Uh, data collection should be data that's needed by the school, not to feed uh, the data monster. Aside from this positive development, I can think of no time when teachers and lecturers and school leaders have felt less involved, less consulted and less able to exercise their professional judgement than now. Alone, we can do something. Together, we can do great things. We must fight to protect our profession for the sake of the children and the young people whose education and future lives depend on us.